This is a lat focused cable row, a great exercise to target the middle lats and a great exercise, especially if you don't have a lat focused rowing machine. Now, before I get into the grip that I'm using, I am using a double grip V-bar attachment. I first want to go over how to execute this movement properly, and then we could cover all the different attachments that you can use. So let's get started on starting this movement off. First, unrack that weight and get some tension on that cable. After that, you want to make sure that your torso is completely upright and vertical, and then you'll allow the upper back to slightly round. This will take tension off of that upper back, and that way we're only using those lats. You'll notice that below my chest, my torso is basically upright and vertical, and a above my chest, those shoulders and that upper back is slightly rounded forward. To get in this position, again, we just want to get an upright vertical position, get that tension on that cable, and then allow those shoulders and that upper back to slightly go forward. That way we take tension off that upper back and just use those lats. Also make sure that you are bracing properly with both those legs and those abs. Make sure you're pushing those feet into those foot rests as well as squeezing and contracting those abs as you both row backwards as well as go forward with that eccentric. If you feel your lower back Back a lot on this exercise you're likely not squeezing that midsection enough keep the arms tight to the side of the body right here you'll see me grazing the inside of my arm into that torso for any lap focused rowing movement you want to make sure you keep your arm tight to the side of the body to minimize involvement of those biceps and also improve your mom's connection on this exercise first imagine like you are rowing a little bit more through those pinkies as well as as you initiate that row imagine like you were slightly pushing those hands and elbows slightly down towards the ground row far back enough to where that elbow just passes the seam of the shirt as you can see right here and make sure you're getting a noticeable pause at the very back to get a good contraction on those lats and again as you go forward you're not eccentric imagine like you were slightly pushing those elbows and pinkies slightly down towards the ground not a whole lot but just enough for you to keep those lats engaged also on the way forward imagine like you're still trying to pull those elbows backwards as that weight takes you forward and always 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 three seconds on that eccentric nice slow and controlled and you basically want to go until the bend of the elbow almost completely disappears one is keep just the slightest slightest bend of that elbow to keep tension through those lats so don't let those arms completely extend and lock out those elbows and have those shoulders excessively roll forward now to talk a little bit more about the attachment that i'm using i'm using a close grip beaver attachment uh, most gyms if not all gyms have this piece of equipment and i recommend for you to start here with this grip and then let's talk about getting fancy with it now ideally i would like to have a grip that is just slightly wider but just inside shoulder width and that also allows me to have a neutral grip meaning palm facing towards the center most gyms don't have a bar or attachment that looks like this you could probably buy one of amazon and it'll look just like this i'll pop it on the screen right here um, however again the most important thing is a attachment or grip allows you to have those arms tied to the side of the body and also have a neutral grip palm facing towards the center um, again i would probably like to have a grip that is a slightly wider right here again just under shoulder width apart um, but it's really hard to find an attachment like that um, but uh, that is an option that is available. And a little recap on the execution of this movement. Make sure that you use a grip that allows you to have those arms tied to the side of the body. As you initiate that row, make sure you're upright and vertical with that torso, allowing those shoulders to slightly roll forward with a slight rounding of that upper back to keep tension through those lats. As you initiate that row, make sure that you're pushing those hands and elbows slightly down towards the ground, getting a noticeable pause at the very back as that elbow passes the seam of the shirt and always slow and controlled on that way forward, just keeping a slight bend at the elbow make sure that you uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed this tutorial as well subscribe for more tutorial videos just like this one please lord give me a sign a sign i feel like i'm losing my mind